forgiveness, his love and mercy? Why do you reject it? Why do you ignore it? Why do you harden your heart? Why do you continue to serve the devil and continue to walk in darkness when Jesus said, I am the light of the world and whoever abides in me will not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Life is in Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. You have blotted out and forgotten is to look to Jesus who suffered and died for you on the cross. That is having faith alone in Christ alone. Not in your good works, not in your religion, not going to church, not reading the Bible, not saying a prayer, not doing all these righteous deeds. Oh no, it's faith. Believing. Simple. It's simple. Faith in Christ. Where you walk with Christ. You commune with Christ. You're friends with Christ. You fellowship with Jesus Christ. He is your Lord. He is your God. He is your friend. He's your Savior. He's your Master. You serve Him because He first loved you. Look at the way that God is loving you right now. Look at the way that God is loving you. He has given you another day. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. The earth is the Lord's and all it contains. The world and all those who dwell in it. God made you. You didn't make yourself. You understand? God is the one who formed it upon the rivers. He is the one who formed it upon the seas. God is the one that has made you and not we ourselves. But I'm telling you, whom among you of you can stand in his presence? Whom among you can, can ascend into the hill of the Lord? Only he who has pure hands and a clean heart. How do you get a pure hand and a clean heart? It's in repentance and faith in Jesus Christ. Trusting in Jesus Christ. Or walking with Jesus Christ. Serving Jesus Christ, not yourself. Not your pleasure, not your entertainment. You guys enjoy everything else except Jesus. You have idols. They're idols. That thing that gives you that satisfaction for that moment. See, sin is fun for a season, and then it bites like a sword. Them and you believe, then you will serve them. Oh, you will love them. Why do you do what is wicked in the sight? Why do you ignore his love and mercy? Why do you harden your heart and continue on that broad road that leads to destruction? Oh, I'm telling you, Satan, Lucifer, the devil, is blind at the eyes of the unbelieving. The unbelieving, those who will not believe. Those who do not have God. Jesus! Oh, I'm telling you, I speak life. I speak light. I speak love. I speak about him who is not willing that any of you perish. I speak about him who is desiring to set you free. Set you free from the bondage of your sin. You're a slave to your sin. You're a slave to Satan. You're a child of the devil. You're walking in darkness. You don't even know who you are. Oh, you don't even know who you are. No, and my door was closed. I was in my closet. Oh, no, God saw and God is going to hold you accountable. And why would you, why would you be upset? Why would you be upset? The reason you were upset is there is a God. The reason you were upset is there is a God, and you're going to be held accountable. And you don't want to be held accountable. So you're trying to suppress the truth. You're trying to justify yourself, make yourself feel good. You know, run a race, walk a race, make yourself feel what is holy. You do what is righteous. You know what pleases God. You know the mind of God. You know the heart of God. You know what causes Him joy. You know what causes Him peace. You know what causes Him where He rejoices over you. He dances over you. He takes pleasure over you. But not in your sin. Not in your sin and rebellion. Not in your bad attitude, your bad behavior. Oh yeah, the wicked things you do. The wicked things you do. The things you do. What?
walking down the street, I'd be excited to see you. Just like me, you want to be normal? And then in your right mind, where you're not running into people? On your right mind, no, no demons take over. Have you ever seen demons take over? Oh no, he's coming right here. He's right here. You're looking at it. You're looking at it. You're looking at it right here. Oh, the kingdom of God is on earth. Here I am, I'm walking. I'm walking in the power of God. I'm walking in the goodness of God. I've experienced the love of God. I want to give it to you. I want to give it to you. Am I going to hell? I hope not. No. Will you give your life to Jesus Christ? Will you serve Him? Will you obey Him? Yes, a guy in a yellow, little yellow jumper suit can go to heaven. Not too difficult for God. Oh, God can change your wicked heart. One more time, He stretches out His arm to a stubborn and stiff-necked people who walk in ways not good. Can you see God's love being revealed to you today? Do uh, you see the love of God revealed in Jesus Christ and all that He has done for you that you might experience life? What is life? Life is not running a race. Life is not smoking a blunt. Life is not getting drunk. Life isn't getting late. But what is life? What is life about? Oh, Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That in Jesus there is an abundant life. What is an abundant life? It's not about money. Oh no, it's not about how big your house is, what kind of vacation you go on. Oh, it's not about what kind of restaurants you eat, or what kind of exercise you do, or how healthy you are. Oh no, life, life, abundant life, is in Christ, knowing Christ, obeying Christ, walking with Christ. Experiencing peace, peace of mind. Oh, the Bible says the wicked have no peace. That's why they get drunk. Oh, the wicked have no rest. That's why they work. Oh, they buy stuff. They worship stuff. And all the things that they run after. The wicked have no rest. They have no peace. You have no satisfaction. You're never satisfied. You're never content. You're never at peace. Yes, the wicked have no peace. You have a wicked heart of unbelief. You have a wicked heart of unbelief because you have chosen to reject God's love and mercy. You have chosen to ignore His hand that stretches out to you that you might be forgiven, that you might be set free, that you might not spend as beautiful as Jesus Christ. You want to see what is beautiful. You look at Jesus Christ. You want to see what is ugly, look in the mirror. Fear is not for <laughs> Jesus. Fear is not for Jesus. Fear is not for Jesus. I love Jesus. I'll tell you, when I look at myself in the mirror, it's ugly. <laughs> Especially when I don't have clothes. That's really ugly. But I look at Jesus because he's beautiful. I need Jesus. That's why I say thank you, Jesus. My life circles around that, which is coming, which is beautiful. Then I get a new name.